Hi everyone, this is Annie Williams and I am so excited to share with you today a look at the new Better Press system from Spellbinders. The Better Press is a letter press system that you use with your manual die cutting machine to produce the look of really beautiful stationery with a detailed impression that you can actually feel. Now here I am opening my Better Press for the very first time. You see it includes a pack of cotton card panels, a roll of the best ever craft tape, and a mini Better Press black ink pad. It includes a couple of plates for you to get started with, the instruction manual which tells you exactly what you need to do and even has some beautiful samples in the back. This piece is called the platen, and you just peel off the protective film, get rid of the cardboard. This is the chase, and there's three mylar shims and a magnetic insert. So the first thing you'll want to do is remove the magnetic insert and place those three mylar shims underneath and then reassemble your chase. Then you'll place the platen on top and it will attach to the four magnetic spring-loaded corners. These allow you to run it through your die cutting machine and then that will press the plate into the paper as you run it through. There are three better press plates included. One is that big beautiful floral image and then there are two sentiment plates. They both say to my favorite person Favorite is spelled either with or without a U, whether you're in the UK or Canada or just prefer to spell it with the U, you have that option. There are 15 cotton card panels in three different colors. First is pebble or kind of a gray color. Then there's bisque or kind of a creamy white and porcelain or a white color. I'm choosing a piece of the porcelain and I'm unwrapping my Better Press Black Mini Ink Pad and we're going to get started making my first card. So let's take that big pretty floral image and stick it to the magnetic insert. You can see it doesn't really move. You can move it around with your fingers if you need to, but it doesn't move very much. I'm going to take my sentiment and place it down in the lower corner. And the magnetic insert has guidelines for both A2 and A7 cards so you can position everything exactly where you want it. Here I'm placing my card panel on the platen within the guidelines for the A2 sized panel and I'm just taping it down on the four sides using my best ever craft tape. I'm going to check to see if any of my tape is going to interfere with my better press image and it looked like it might on that one side so I just moved it down just a tad. And now I'm going to ink my plate using my Better Press Black Ink Pad. I'm using kind of a pressing and twisting motion as I do this. I'm trying not to get too much on that magnetic insert, but it's going to happen. So <laughs> if I get any on there, I'll clean it off a little bit before I take it to my die cutting machine. And once it's good and covered, I'll place the platen on top, bring in my Spellbinders Platinum machine, and just run it through. Sorry for the shaky table. And here is a look at my very first impression using the Better Press machine. I mean, it's perfect and I couldn't believe it. I mean there's there's no smudges, there's just a perfect impression on the very first try. To remove the card paddle from the platen, I'm kind of rolling the craft tape back up on itself just to make sure I don't tear that soft cotton card panel and here's kind of a close up look at the really beautiful impression you get. You can actually feel it. It's it's really stunning. Now I figured while I had my plates out, let's try some other inks. I know that Spellbinders offers advice on which inks to use and I kind of have to see it to believe it myself. So I pulled out some Versifying Claire ink. That's a pigment ink that's oil-based and I thought, you know, maybe this will work okay too. It works beautiful for sediment stamps. 
So let's try that and run it through my Spellbinders Platinum and see what happens. And here's a look and it looks a little splotchy. I could see when I was applying it, it, it was beating up just a tiny bit on top of my plate. So not great. Um, I probably won't be using this ink again in this system. Here's a comparison to my original. You can see that the black better press ink is definitely finer, a little less splotchy little less blobby, especially around that sentiment, you can see the difference. Here I've got some dye ink. I thought navy ink would look beautiful on that gray cotton card panel, the pebble. So I'm applying that. Spellbinders does say that dye ink can work. It just doesn't work maybe quite as well as better press ink. I'm cleaning up as much ink on my chase as I can. It's getting pretty messy now, but you can clean off the ink with Archival Ink Cleaner. Placing my platen on top and running it through my die cutting machine. So let's take a look at the results using dye ink. And I have to say, I don't think it's that bad. It's not splotchy like the pigment ink. It's maybe not quite as crisp as the better press ink, but I think that this kind of opens up a lot of possibilities for us to use the dye inks that are already in our collection. I mean, we probably have tons of colors that we can now use with this system. And here's a look at all three together. Again, I think that brown pigment ink is probably the worst and I may not go back to using that ink again. Now let's try a little bit of different cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. Um, this is the white cardstock I use for everything, so I figured why not try it. Um, I'm going to take my Better Press Black ink. Oh, wait, I haven't cleaned off my plate, so I'm going to clean that off with a baby wipe really quickly just to get that last ink off. Readjust my sentiment back to where it was and kind of dry it off with my hand a little bit before applying the black ink. And here I bring in a little bit of a towel too. All right, so now I'm going to apply the Better Press black ink all over, just like before. Trying my best to get as good of an impression as I can. I want to give all of my little experiments the best chance they can have. And I'm going to add the platen on top. And once again, run that through my Spellbinders Platinum. All right, now let's see how the Nina cardstock did. Not bad. It's a beautifully inked image. Now, I don't think it has quite the tactile property that the cotton card panel is able to achieve. Um, the cotton card panels are softer, so you get a much better impression. It has that typical letterpress look. So I would say that if you're going to use a cardstock like Nina Classic Crest Solar White, it might be more like stamping, less like letterpress. All right, well, let's make a card with one of the card panels we've created. Here I've taken the first panel that I pressed. This is the Better Press Black Ink on the cotton card panels that are included with the system. And I've just taken some watercolor markers in two different shades and then blended out to the edge with a blender pad. These are Tombow dual brush pens. They're some of my favorite watercolor pens. And they work beautifully on the cotton card panels. Most watercolor markers or paints will work well on cotton card panels and they're also compatible with the better press better press black ink and i'm just doing simple coloring um, there's so much detail in the plates in the images that you really don't need to add a ton of shading to get a really beautiful result in fact it it almost detracts from it if you try to do too much so here i'm doing a couple of the leaves and i'm blending out with my blender pen trying to get a little bit of shading but not too much 
and I'm going to skip over most of the coloring because this is more about the better press system, not about my coloring. So here I've colored the entire image. And now just to give it a little bit of shadow around the edges and also kind of the look of a sky, I'm taking a blue watercolor marker and just going around the edge of the image. This kind of makes the image pop off the page a bit. Now I'm going to cut down my colored card panel with the A2 precision layering dies and I'm also going to create a mat out of onyx cardstock and there is a top folding white A2 sized card base. So once those panels are cut I just adhere the colored panel onto the onyx panel and there's that nice really elegant thin black edge and then I'm going to adhere that on top of my white card base. And that's a very simple but really pretty card. To finish it off, I'm going to add some crystal mixed gems. Um, and I don't really press these down until I've made my final decisions. I kind of play around with my gems a lot before I decide where they're all going to go. So you can see I'm just kind of lightly placing them on top of my card and then pushing them around with my pokey tool until I'm happy. And then at the end, once I've decided they're all in the spots that I want them, I'll press them down really hard and that will keep them on there permanently. Uh, here you see I decided I didn't like that big gem, so I'm just going to switch it out for a little one. And there is the finished card. Really simple, but with that beautiful intricate design and just a little bit of coloring, it makes a really pretty card. So here's something else that's fun. You can use your better press plates to foil. I've taken the plate that comes with the system and I'm applying matte gold hot foil to Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock using my glimmer machine. Um, you cannot use glimmer plates in the better press system, but you can use better press plates to foil with. And here you can see I got a pretty nice result. Now I do use a thin cardstock shim. You can see that orange paper between my two plates when I foil. Um, you may need to play around with that because the thickness of the better press plates and the glimmer plates are a little different. So you may need to use a couple of shims depending on how old your die cutting machine is. So just play around until you get the result you want. Now I'm taking one of the stylish ovals dies and cutting out the center of that foiled image. It's going to create a really pretty focal image for my card. Now I'm going to try something really fun. I'm going to do some tone on tone better pressing on purple cardstock. Now because this isn't cotton cardstock I'm not going to get a really great impression but it will give kind of a fun tone on tone background. Now to get the image into two different corners all you need to do is place the plate once and then when you go to put your platen on, you just rotate it. And now you have the image printed in both corners. So if I want to have the image in four different corners, I can move the plate again. And because I'm using the Spellbinders Platinum and not the Platinum 6, I can have that plate hanging off the side of the better press. To color the foiled image, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of wilted violet distress ink to the center of the foiled flowers with a sponge dauber, just to give the kind of a hint of color. Again, this is a beautifully de detailed image. I don't feel the need to add a ton of color. For the leaves, I'm going to take mowed lawn distress ink and take one of the mini ink blending brushes from Spellbinders, and that gets in all the tiny little nooks and crannies of these leaves and just add kind of a hint of green. I don't want to really overdo it with this image. There's kind of a lot going on. There's a lot of foiling, a lot of texture. We're just going to add a tiny bit of color and it just goes on really fast. And we're done. <laughs> Almost. 
There we go. So I'm adding my inked and embossed background panel directly to a top folding A2 sized white card base with tape runner, foam adhesive behind my foiled oval, and then I've also foiled the better press sentiment plate that comes with the system too, and I've fussy cut that out and added it to the top corner with more foam adhesive. To embellish, I'm just going to add kind of a spray of gold mixed gems across the front of the card just for a little bit of sparkle. And again, I'm adjusting them like I always do until I'm happy. And then I'll press them down really good once I'm done. And here's the finished card. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at the new Better Press system from Spellbinders. I really think it's the kind of product that you can take out of the box and get beautiful results right away. And I think we're going to find more and more fun ways to use it in the future. If you like this video, I'd love it if you'd hit the like or subscribe button. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you're looking for any of the supplies I used, you can find it in the description below as well. I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back soon with more card making videos. Bye!